all right welcome back to a brand new dead by daylight video and in today's video i have an interesting and just overall great to know video for you guys which if you probably have read the, oh. the title is going to be how to get iridescent shards fast and my tips and tricks how to do it afk as well so without further ado i'm just gonna ask you guys to please subscribe and i just can't thank you guys enough for the support but i'm not gonna talk about that i'm just gonna get straight into the video hope you enjoy i love you and have an amazing rest of your day so now i'm going to be going into the first thing i'm going to be telling you guys which is the main way to actually get iridescent shards now the main way to get iridescent shards which i'm pretty sure all of you guys already know is to simply level up um there are other ways such as getting your daily rewards on an event or something like that but that will likely not help you so much so we're just going to be talking about leveling up today so how to do my afk method is to just basically run a really 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 annoying build in dbd so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on to killer trust me you're not going to have to have a prestige 100 killer or even like a prestige one killer you don't have to upgrade the killer uh you barely have to upgrade the killer puts like a little blood points on them but just listen trust me hear me out um it is not just standing afk the entire match what you're going to want to do you're going to want to put on no one escapes death also no ed or Blood Warden if you have it, but the main thing is going to be No One Escapes Death um, and No Way Out. Just basically put a whole endgame build on and just camp the exit gate as like a Ray for a bubble or something like that with Insidious. And when the survivors come to open the gate, they're going to be like, oh, he's AFK. And then you just demolish like one or two survivors or something like that. Just camp them. I don't know. Just play like that. Put on a really annoying build. So you're basically not going to have to play anything, but you're still going to be having some kills. At least one guaranteed kill, I'm pretty sure. Because one survivor is going to be dumb enough to come up to you and just maybe teabag or something. And you're going to have no it. So you just hit them, hook them. And if you have no other chances to get anyone else, then you can basically just kill one of them and camp them the entire rest of the match. So that was the number one tip to just put on a end game build, camp the entire match and just kill the survivors in the end. Or if you want to, you can even let them escape if you really want to go completely AFK. Um, so yeah. For the next tip I have is for survivors. Now, if you're wondering how can I do this while I want to play the game? Well, there is no specific really way to upgrade yourself uh, and level really quickly. Um, sadly, there are no offerings or stuff like that that can help you with that. So what I recommend to do is getting your friends to hop on, play some fun builds, play some fun games. Um, it is actually really fun to play with friends. It is actually really addicting. I was playing for like, I don't, I don't even know, many hours yesterday, I can say at least. Which is the reason why I haven't uploaded a video for four days because I've just been playing with my friends. So trust me, just try and get your friends to play with you and you will get amazing um, levels of XP without even realizing it. So trust me, just play with your friends and uh, on to the next method. Now for this last method, it is not, I'm pretty sure, legal or whatever you say. Like it is actually bannable. But um, what you have to do is if you're on PC or if you're on controller, or I don't know if how to do this. But somehow you're going to need an auto clicker, which you can just have on killer ready to just put it on um, the keybind that you click ready on or continue or whatever it is. So that it just can go load into a match, click continue for you when the match is over. And it just keeps doing that while you're at work or school or college, whatever it is. So if you're on PC, that is possible to do. But if you're on controller, I really don't know how to do that. But um, those were all the methods for today. Um, so, uh, one more thing, if I did not say this already, take advantage of double XP, um, what's it called? Double XP events, and that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Having, what? Have an amazing rest of your day. You guys see, I really don't know how to talk anymore. Anyway, have an amazing rest of your day. I love you so much, and uh, goodbye.